these stickers are brilliantly bad. There is indisputable proof that they are terrible, and I can prove it using numbers. Rio stickers are out. How do they compare to the previous years? Terrible. Blech. Trash. 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 What the? Trash. Mid, mid, trash. Giga trash. Trash. Let's just get to the other capsule. Everything is trash. Uh, I honestly think these stickers are ass and there's not much potential in these to invest. I hate these. These are the worst stickers ever. Okay. They've been on sale for way too long. Probably not gonna go up in value. If they do, I'll eat my hat. How did Rio Major stickers go from some of the worst perceived major stickers by the community ever? To one of the greatest sticker investments in recent history. Hey what's up guys it's Mother Master and today I'm going to be showing you exactly this. The success of Rio stickers has been due to a combination of factors. These factors have created an environment which allowed Rio stickers to succeed despite their negative initial reception. Rio major stickers were released on the 21st of October 2022 and then later removed by Valve from their store on around the same day during February of 2023. During that time, they were perceived as some of the worst stickers ever. Now, I want to start this video off with a quote from Warren Buffett. Now, I know he is an old wrinkly boomer and probably doesn't know the game exists, but this quote still very much applies to the market in CSGO and it's worked very well throughout my time investing in CSGO. So basically, be fearful when others are greedy and greedy when only when others are fearful. And essentially what this means is you don't want to be feeding into hype when people are telling you invest, invest, this is the great new fucking Caddo 14. Don't invest in it. The only times I've lost money in CSGO is when I've fed into the hype of the community. For example, back in 2018, 2019, before cases exploded, everyone was like, oh, don't buy into cases. It's such a waste. It's never going to go up and see what happened. And you're never really going to get a good return if you're only listening to like the mob mentality. You got to think for yourself. Now, how this applies to IEM Rio, I'm not saying IEM Rio is anything like cases where they went up like a hundred times or some shit. No, but what I am saying is I believe and it's come into fruition now that the hate on IEM Rio stickers was totally exaggerated. And I think we'll see potentially when the Paris Major rolls around that the stickers, they're not going to be like Stockholm, Antwerp, like Caddo 14 type stickers. They're going to be total shit. They're going to be like Berlin. And I feel at the moment we're really just accustomed or spoiled to these really nice stickers. But for so long before that time, we just got trash. Berlin, absolutely disgusting. RMR, gross. I am Rio isn't really that bad. Now it's not only the visual looks of Rio, which I think have been a bit underrated, but it's mainly the supply. The Rio stickers have been on sale for so long, yet the supply lacks so far behind Antwerp particularly, and it's lacking behind Stockholm as well. I've made a graph here which displays the total sales of Antwerp, Stockholm and Rio stickers on all major marketplaces as well as the Steam market prior to their removal on the in-game CSGO store. So we can see just on the team sticker sales, Antwerp with nearly 6 million sales over the course of when they were on sale in the CSGO store. Put that into comparison with Rio, which only has 2 million. That means Antwerp was bought pretty much triple the amount that Rio was bought. Now we can also see Stockholm had 2.7 million team capsule sales and this really isn't too bad for Rio. Rio still has 700,000 less and when taken into account Stockholm itself was probably a bit underrated since it occurred after RMR, the RMR disaster happened. The supply for Rio as we're seeing on the market price right now is a little bit unsustainable. Now I'm not saying Rio could pass Stockholm but I believe there's a chance that Rio could pass Antwerp. Antwerp in both autographs and team stickers has about tripled the supply of Rio which is quite significant. Now yes Antwerp stickers do look a lot better so I guess this will be kind of a test in the community to see how much the looks of the sticker matters to the community when opening capsules. But I personally do believe there's a chance that Rio could overtake Antwerp because there's many examples in CSGO in which a rarer item has overtaken 
much better looking items. For example, for Boston 100 Thieves and Ty Lu stickers, which I previously did a video on. In my opinion, they're not the greatest sticker out of the capsule and there's definitely better stickers than those. However, those two stickers are very expensive. And really, currently the only stickers which I think haven't been successful as an investment is Berlin and RMR. And what these two stickers have in common is they're both high supply and they look trash. And yes, you could say Rio stickers look like trash, but they definitely don't have a high supply. The supply is pretty low, and I think they'll definitely play in its favor as it proceeds as an investment. Now, one other big factor I wanna mention before ending this video is the introduction of Source 2. Source 2, I believe, has definitely helped Rio grow, and I think it'll help Rio continue to grow. The introduction of Source 2 will hopefully increase the player base numbers and they'll lead into increased price, sales, all that good stuff. And it really puts Rio in a good position, I believe, currently. Now, in conclusion, I'm not saying go out and invest in Rio right now because the sticker sales obviously ended. So it's a lot more riskier now if you want to do it. I'm not saying it's guaranteed profit or any of that. However, I believe People have just constantly been saying, what the hell, how did Rio increase so much when the sticker sale ended? And I feel it's pretty obvious it was always underrated by the community and we're seeing that now. I appreciate anyone who's watched in the video up until this point. And here's my last two videos, one on graffitis, which is a good, a very good investment in my opinion, as well as 100 Thieves and Ty Lu some of the lowest supply stickers in the game, which are barely talked about. That's all from me, guys. Cheers. See you in the next one.